Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. And uh, this lesson today is going to be dealing with the reason they're bringing uh, troops into these hospitals, okay? And uh, the reason they're bringing troops into these these uh, spaces, which I'll call it Dracula's Laboratory, okay, is to get you prepared to be um, forcibly detained and, um, you know, uh, to enforce these laws and these rules upon you and, and mandates upon you that are getting ready to come. That's the reason they have them set up so that it's all it's easy when it's time to, um, you know, to really issue out those orders that they're already in place. OK, this is all strategic. And um, I'll, this you can read what it says here. And in fact, I'll read it, but I'll read it in code because obviously um, YouTube is censoring us heavily. OK, so it says uh, C-19 updates. December 21. Speculation swirls about return of curfew, more restrictions as moronic uh, dominate, dominates in, in Quebec. Okay. All right. It says province faces difficult choices. Legault says promising an update Wednesday on plan to fight a moronic spread and protect the welfare system, okay? So, what he's telling you is, um, is that this thing is too, too much, all right? This particular strain is too much, and they need to have a, a serious measures in place in order to stop this, because like I said, Ben, in the last couple videos, that they said that this is the highest amounts or numbers that they've had even since the beginning. The be this is the highest they've ever had. And this has only been out for about three weeks. So you know that the propaganda and the, and the mandates are going to be heavy. Okay? You know that. And there's certain places that are not playing. And the reason they're going so quickly and so fast with it is because these certain places don't have any real gun rights. All right, like uh, Canada, you know, UK, Australia, these different places, Germany, these places don't really have gun rights like that. But you see, America, they got to move slow in certain states. They got to find a way to, to they're, they're trying to figure out how to do it, bring it forth in certain states. For example, um, uh, Texas, okay, because the gun laws are very, very... There's a lot of gun laws over there. You know, those people are protected uh, by their gun rights. You see? But um, dealing with New York, that's not a place that has <laughs> gun rights. So that's why they're able to move in quickly with New York. All right? So the, Esau knows exactly what he's doing, man. And he's setting up everything, um, you know, for these uh, these tighter draconian measures. It says speculation swirls about a return of curfew, more restrictions as moronic dominates in Quebec. Quebec daily cases set to surpass 6,000, Radio Canada says. Oh, hey, <laughs> 6,000, that's a lot. All right, that's a lot. Okay. But but when it first came over here, they, they, you know, they were saying that it was it was mild and things like that. But now all of a sudden it's, you know, you got to shut down the whole world. Province asked Canada Red Cross for help report. <clears throat> Quebec says another 758,000 uh, rapid tests will be dispatched to pharmacy, uh, to pharmacia starting tomorrow. S uh, Swamp, Kirkland and Verdun walk-in uh, test spots have been closed for the day okay let me jump down to the point i was looking for okay quebec in talks over possible juice help 
from Canadian Armed Forces. This is the point that I want. Okay? They're bringing in the army in order to help to get the people juiced. And soon it's going to go from help to insisting. Well, it's already at insistence already. They're already insisting that you do it. But it's going to be more, we're coming door to door. Okay? It's going to be more on that level. Checking to see who ain't got it and who, and who, and who got it. All right? That's how they're gonna. That's how this thing is gonna roll out. And right now in, in um, Australia, they're showing you that um that they actually have a special force that's looking and searching and hunting people who have not been juiced. So these things are coming all around, man. This is coming all around. Don't think because your your place got certain laws, they might have to go harder in Texas. They might have to go harder in those states because of those laws. They might have to bring triple the army in there. You understand what I'm saying to you? So at the end of the day, this is coming. This is Esau's implementing this worldwide. And this is all a prelude to the MOTB. Okay. Let me read some scriptures. This is Isaiah 59 and verse 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, and that flood represents those armies, man. You see, it's seeping in right now. It's, you know, they're kind of sp it's, it's, it's seeping in a bit. But before you know it, the water's all around you. Okay? They might say, we don't have enough workers because of these, these, these um, the juice mandate. So, guess what? The army's going to drive your, your, your children to school. Those things already happen in certain places and have already happened. So... When that happens, and let's say they have to, they have an emergency, and they got to bring your children somewhere, you know, to, to a particular camp because of an emergency. What are you gonna do, right? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah, the, the spirit of the Lord is gonna lift up a standard against him for the elect. Not for the whole nation of Israel. That's what you people have to understand. Okay? The, the Heavenly Father is not lifting up a standard for every one of you Israelites. Okay? The only ones that's going to be lifted up a standard is those that have been serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Who've been, uh, who've been repentive. Okay? Not those that have just been, uh, who, hear the, who hear the word and don't, don't put it into action. Okay? Or look at this thing as entertainment. No. All right. And if you don't believe it, if you don't believe in this, that the Lord is going to do that, then that's OK. Then guess what? This word is not for you. This word is not for you. Go watch Alex Jones. Go watch. Uh, go watch, you know, the hill. Go watch some, something else that, that you think might be able to help you. But we understand that this is really the only way out of this thing. OK, it's through your how about This is Ezekiel nine and four. It says, and the Lord said unto him. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the, the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right? And that's that's us. Okay? We're out there complaining in the street week in and week out. To, really, to you, how about Shimei Shai about the wickedness going on in this earth? All right? And furthermore, our spirit is groan, groaning. To Yahweh Shem Shai without us even saying anything. Okay? And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So everyone who doesn't have that mark, the angels are going to set it up where they're destroyed. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. And one of the main ways that they're going to destroy you is through the army. Okay? That's one of the main ways the angels are going to destroy you. Because the scriptures speak about how crazy and deranged they're going to be in that time. Let's get it. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and verse 60, 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you all right who the, the army 
the 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 authorities, whether it's the police or the army, okay? They're gonna take they're gonna take certain people away and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So they're gonna you know when you know when you get locked up, they, they they're feeding you. You can't order uh you can't order Starbucks when you get locked up. All right, you eat what's there, you know. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay, there's going to be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Let's look up this word insurrection. <clears throat> Insurrection, it means a violent uprising against an authority or government. Well, really, it's gonna, the authority is going to be us, all <laughs> right? The authority is going to be, Lord willing, we be of that number, is going to be the men of the Lord. There's going to be a violent uprising against us, okay? Mainly from this government. And a lot of these people are going to be with that, you know? They're going to be with it because of all the propaganda that's going to surround it. All right. The same way, same thing that happened to the Lord, the same thing that happened to Yahweh. Shai. There was a lot of propaganda, false witnesses that came out. And it was the people who were screaming, crucify him, crucify him. All right. A lot of people are going to be screaming for people like us <laughs> to get crucified. That's the bottom line. That's the type of propaganda that Esau is pushing out there. And there are certain people that are seeing it. And there's certain people, no matter what you show them, no matter what you tell them, they will not be able to see it or they don't want to see it. OK. Because the Heavenly Father has a spirit on them to not see it. All right. OK. They shall be like madmen sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. And they're not going to be like the police. Stop. Stop. No, they, there's no stop. If you do something that's out of line, expect uh, gunshots to be fired, man. It's not. It, listen. It says they shall be like madmen. Sparing none. So they're not going to spare any of you. If you don't comply. Hey. It's going to be it's going to be serious out here, man. Okay, that's why they got all these camps set up. And they got places they can use as, as camps as well that they have uh, already set up for this, this time period, man. Walmarts, you know, different, different abandoned facilities. Yeah. Warehouses. Your, the elder apostle Gabar did a did video a video on that years ago, man. Going into to certain going to certain places that looked abandoned but the way they set it up was like it like it was a detention camp this is what's getting ready to happen man so you see you see everything that we've been saying is coming to pass you see what we've been saying it, 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 they're moving in right this is quebec but look at this this is this is america all right it says u.s will deploy troops to help you know, Draconian's, uh, 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 Dracula's laboratory. You got it. We got to speak in code on YouTube, man, because they're flagging us, especially our videos, man, especially the Hebrew Israelites of Great Millstone. OK, it says. U.S. will deploy troops to help Dracula's laboratories during moronic wave distribute free C-19 tests. Uh, starting, oh, so lock in. sorry, that's the phone. Um, starting in January, all right. So we told you, 2022 is going to be a very, very rough year. 2022 is going to be a very, very rough year, and Esau is going to turn it up. It's going to be great separation, all right. Great separation, great, great propaganda, great uh, uh, accusation. Finger pointing, draconian measures, all these things are coming. All right. The Biden administration will deploy a thousand uh, 
pharmacia personnel from the military to back up Dracula's laboratory if they face a wave of moronic pe uh, uh, people in January and February. And, and they will. Okay, they will face one. That's that's clear. Like I said, you know, um, out here in Quebec, they already said that it's the highest that it's ever been, and it's just been a few weeks since they since they um, since we learned about this thing since the first case. <laughs> all right. So all, now all of a sudden we're at the highest uh, amount of of cases. So listen, man. Esau is making moves, man. But he, he did. Uh, Biden did speak about a dark winter, right? Right. The White House is also purchasing 500 million at at, at home C19 test that Americans can order for free through a website starting in in January. All right. The Centers for Plague uh, Control and and Prevention on Monday reported. That moronic is rapidly spread spreading, and is now the dominant strain, representing seventy three percent of U of U S cases. So so hey, so all these things you're seeing is a setup. Okay, all these things you're seeing is is the is the chess pieces in place. Okay, so that they can they, that they can move in with their uh, agenda. They're next. Their next step, which we know what the next step is, right? If you've been watching the videos, you should know what the next step is. This is Revelations 13 and verse 11. And I'm going to skip down to the, to the point in a second, but I want to read this first. It says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. So he came like a sheep, all humble. Oh, we just want to save you. We just want to help you, Right? Oh, hey, wait, what's the big deal? You know, all these, but, but, well, now, right? And he spake as a dragon. Now he's starting to speak as a dragon, right? What did Trudeau just say? Trudeau said, uh, Justin Trudeau, he said, um, yeah, we're, take, we're taking away your fundamental rights, okay? Because there's a loophole where we can do it. He just said that straight up, man. And, 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 Joe, and, and Sleepy Joe is saying the same thing. Okay. He's saying the same thing, man. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. What's the first beast? The ancient Roman Empire. This is the revived Roman Empire. Okay, all you got to do is type in the similarities to this empire and the and the similarities to the Roman Empire. The exact same uh similar situation all right the devaluing of the money you know putting uh women in high positions there's all kind of things that tie this place back to uh to um rome all kind of things numerous things all right i believe they even polluted the water in rome too all right That was known as the uh, the Iron Age, right? And that's why the, the toes were spoken about, the, the, the legs and the toes had iron in it, representing the Roman Empire, and then the, the new Roman Empire, which we're in now, which is the toes, the end of this these kingdoms, right? Because iron was one of the main, is the main thing that they used for their weapons back then. Now, look at the weapons that you have. These weapons that you have, they all have iron in them. These guns, these 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 missiles, they all use iron. When you when you grew up in, in middle school in um elementary school, they taught you Roman numerals. They taught you Roman numerals, man. When you gotta go into uh, be a doctor or be a lawyer, what do you learn? Latin. Why? Because this is the spiritually, this is Rome, Rome all over again. This is the Roman, the new revised Roman Empire under the Edomites. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. Let's get Revelations 13 and verse 16. It says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma, 
a mark, because that word there for mark is karagma, in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? Which we know that's the, the RFI to the I, the RF to the ID, okay? The chisnip, the digital U. We got to speak in code because they're flat, they're striking our videos. I'm on, I'm on like the fourth, fourth page, man. Fifth page, whatever. Yeah. Esau, Esau is mad. He's, he's pissed. Okay. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is what it's moving to. Right now it's the juice. But the juice is just a prelude for that. And now they're promoting that. Okay, now they're starting to promote the, 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 the digital ool and telling you that you can have your passport in it. Oh, cool. Right? We told you it was gonna, they were going to make it look cute. Now what are you other Israelite groups going to do? Now what are you Israelite groups going to teach about the, 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 the Rev 13 and, and, and 16? Because you, you can't be on the fence. I'll tell you that. You can't be on the fence. Because if you're on the fence, they're gonna, the, your people are going to fold. They got to be stable in their mind to know this is a no-no. So, yeah, yeah, but it's not that, but if you, you know, but you shouldn't take it. That's not enough, bro. That's not enough, bro. It's about to be life or death, okay? When I say that, I mean that they're going to take away your livelihood. And some are going to be put to death as well. But for the, for, for the most part... They're definitely going to take away your livelihood, meaning what? You won't be able to go into grocery stores. Okay? Even with the, without the juice soon, you won't, you won't be do, able to do those things. Going into grocery stores, getting what you need to get. So, what it, so they're going to make a carnal decision if they're not spiritually prepared. Hold on. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 8. It says, matter of fact, I'll start at verse, um, verse, I'll start at verse 7. It says, and even things without life's giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinct, a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? You can't be teaching gray areas, man. You got to be distinct and you got to be direct. Okay. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? Right. Because if you have a, if you're playing a trumpet that has to do with, 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 with uh, the Passover or, or the new moon. If you're playing that particular sound for the new moon, because they had different sounds for different occasions, then no one's going to prepare themselves for war. So you have to be distinct and you got to be clear with your message. All right. So likewise, ye except uh, likewise, ye except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. How shall it be, be known what is spoken for? Ye shall speak into the air. So. Hey, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay, man. But we're coming to the time of, uh, of great tribulation, man, like we've been saying. This is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It says, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The elect, and we got to keep saying it, the elect is going to be saved out of it. Not all of you Israelites, only the elect, only the chosen. And the chosen have certain characteristics. The chosen would move in a certain way. All right? They have that mark um, of exemption. You know, and they're detached from this world. This is Daniel's 12 and 1. It says, and at, this, at that same time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay? So listen, man. 
we're going to need the, the, the angels to protect us in that time because the time is going to be so evil. You know? Wild beasts, more plagues, the troops destroying and spoiling. Yeah, these things are coming, man. So, yeah, man, I have to bring out these two articles because, hey, it shows you a lot. It shows you a lot. And if it hasn't come to your town yet, don't don't get don't fall asleep because huh, you best believe you best believe it's coming. And it might come to those towns that it comes to last. It might come to them the hardest. You know, if they have um, certain uh, gun laws in place. All right. And that might 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 give Esau the, the mindset to just shoot on sight. Is he for his own safety? You dig? So um, with that, hopefully that was edifying. I didn't want to say too. I had to speak in code as much as possible. I didn't want to say too much, all right? Because Esau's uh, censoring. So with that, I'll say uh, Shalom.